was too. And this guy was a heck of a lot better than I was. He used to go around. He didn't have to have a handicap. He was, he was scratch and club champ at, uh, at uh, his club down there, Rumson Country Club. He was uh, married, three kids. Uh, was owner of a successful auto uh, auto parts store and a, a home uh, a home remodeler or a fixer up. And everything was going pretty good for him. And, uh, and then about 12 years ago, he had uh, uh, what's called an AVM, which is uh, similar to an aneurysm, and uh, uh, was, uh, was basically paralyzed for a while, right? And uh, he, he was on the golf course, but uh, he, uh, he fought his way through and finished, finished the round. But, uh, his life got changed quite a bit uh, because of that. We and I had sold uh, Keith some some insurance, some, some uh, uh, life insurance. We did a plan for him. Uh, he wasn't able to get as much disability as he wanted um, because of the way the company was structured. But uh, he had life insurance, and we put a what we call that waiver or premium on it, where even though it's term, if you become disabled, um, Northwestern will, will allow you to convert your term insurance into whole life, which has a cash value, and Northwestern will pay the premium, and that's that's kind of what's happening with Keith, and uh, we've been, Northwestern's been paying uh, approximately uh, eighteen to twenty thousand dollars a year into, into Keith's uh, permanent insurance, which, you know, eventually will pay a death benefit, but more importantly may help to supplement uh, Keith's retirement and uh, it's cash that's that's his. It's growing tax free, um, and it's making about six percent a year on it right now, which is which is pretty good in in, uh, in anybody's book. But uh, Keith is uh, Keith has, has authored a book called Determination, which I'm sure you're, you're, you're going to be looking at there. He's currently the president of a nonprofit corporation called Friends Overcoming uh, Adversity. Uh, its mission is to help help fund additional rehab when insurance uh, runs out for, for people. Um, um, uh, Charlie Fleischer here has spoken. Uh, he also, uh, I believe you were in a car accident as a, as a teenager, and, and uh, things, uh, things changed quite a bit there. He's spoken uh, thousands, of, um, I'm sorry, thousands of people in, in uh, hundreds of audiences. He's the author of The Secret of Difficulties, Four Steps to Turn uh, tragedy into opportunity. He is the co-founder of, uh, of uh, Friends Overcoming Adversity with, with Keith. Um, he start, started a home health care service directly out of, out of college. That's, you're in the right place with that, uh, with, uh, with home health care. As the baby boomers come, I assume that that's, that's working out pretty well, and I, I would expect it should continue to, too. Um, he's the recipient of the Francis Black Francis A. Black Humanitarian Award, and current president of uh, Red Bank Toastmasters. Uh, his current passion is helping organizations raise money. Um, let's give a warm welcome to Keith. Keith will be talking first, and then Charlie. Uh, Hi, my name is Keith Bata. I'm pleased to be invited here by, to speak with all of you by Jay, Vincent, and Eric, who set this up. The title of this speech is Stop and Smell the Roses. What I mean by this is basically we're all in, in trying to make a career or whatever. So you got to stop a little and take a break and just uh, absorb what you are doing. Or, uh, and like what you want to think about. How many of by a show of hands of you have heard of a brain aneurysm? And how many of you have heard of a AVM? So they, they're, they're similar, but not the same. So luckily, I had the AVM suit. When they first operated on me, they thought it would be the an aneurysm, but I was lucky to have the AVM. Most people die from them. There are many words 
in the English language, but the one that meant the most to me was the word believe. The, that word was what got me here today and will hopefully make you all very successful. Unaware of what it was in store for me, it would change my life forever. It did take up time. Everything that I had built up in my career was gone. We are not judged by how or when we have only what defines us is how we like come back in life or whatever. Unaware of what was in square for me, it would change my life forever. In the tick of time, almost all that I had worked for was gone. Twelve years ago, my doctor told me that you will never work or talk again. I was in a wheelchair. And it took me like five years to read, learn everything from scratch, and then five more years to write the book. You, you're passing the book around, right? Right here. Okay. Can you imagine you, you work your entire life and you lose everything in a click of a second? That's what kind of happened to me, including my health. The AVM I had incur occurred in my brain stem and cellular realm where they connected. It just one day exploded. And most people die from this. They don't make it. Once out of my surgery and medically induced coma, I lost all my abilities to walk, talk clearly, and swallow. A tracheotomy allowed me to breathe and a stomach tube provided me with the nutrition and hydration. You remember your teenage dream car? On Saturday, October 10th, 1988, four 18-year-old boys were knocking back a few Budweiser's. At midnight, one of the young geniuses had a brilliant idea. He suggested that all four go visit a friend down at Stockton College, freshman, in search of a party. Not long after, the passenger found himself in his dream car, a white 300ZX Nissan rocketing down the highway at speeds of over 100 miles an hour. As they started to pull away from the toll, the driver once again hit the gas and they took off. Within seconds, they tried to exit the highway, but before that, the passenger sat up, turned around, and what do you think he saw? That's right, it was, it was the cops. As they tried to exit the highway, the car jumped a curb, hit a tree, flipped over, and because I wasn't wearing my seatbelt, I was ejected from the vehicle, thrown through the air over 100 feet, breaking my neck and receiving a permanent spinal cord injury. Keith and I are here today to share with you how important that our insurance and our insurance policies were in our rehab and our recovery. A famous quote by Mark Twain was that in 20 years from today, you will be more disappointed from the things you did not do than the things you did do. So imagine not being able to screw a nut on a bolt, button a shirt, tie your shoes. So many little tiny tasks evaded me initially. Even now, my work continues so I show improvement over time. People cannot tell us that they're having a bad day when they see what we've been through. But their problems seem minuscule in comparison. The purpose of this speech is to show my appreciation to God for sparing my life. Some people only dream of success, and others wake up each day and work very hard at it. 